Let's go back in time to the end of February 2002 with the first release of the .NET framework. This is when c was first released. It is a new, fully object-oriented general purpose programming language. Visual Basic through its .NET evolution has been upgraded from a largely event-based language tightly coupled with the Visual Basic 6 IDE to a new object-oriented version of itself called Visual Basic.NET. A managed version of C++ could also run within the .NET sphere. New languages like f which was first released in 2005, could also run within the .NET environment. These languages are all interoperable, which essentially means, for example, a C-sharp application can consume a .NET component written in Visual Basic, or an application written in Visual Basic can consume a component written in C-sharp. What makes this possible is the Common Intermediate Language, or CIL. All high-level .NET programming languages like C-sharp, Visual Basic, C++, etc. are first compiled into the Common Intermediate Language before further compilation into Machine Language by the Common Language Runtime. All code that runs within the .NET Runtime is considered managed code. The .NET Runtime also makes available a number of libraries that can be leveraged by our custom .NET code. This is essentially done through a library of files called the Framework Class Libraries, or the abbreviation of this FCL, which provide generic functionality for our applications to consume. The Common Language Runtime, or CLR, can be described as the .NET Virtual Machine and provides services like just-in-time compilation, memory management, security, and exception handling. It is important to note that the .NET framework will only run on appropriate Windows operating systems and must be installed in its entirety on the target computer. There have been many versions of the .NET framework released since its inception, and they are able to run side-by-side -side on the same computer. The latest version of the .NET Framework at the time of writing this tutorial is .NET Framework version 4.7. Let's go back in time again to June 2016 when the first stable version of the .NET Core Runtime was released. It can be described as a cross-platform, more agile, modularized, lightweight version of the .NET Framework. It supports appropriate standards so that multiple languages can run and be managed within the .NET Runtime and also provides language interoperability. Each .NET Core language compiles into the Common Intermediate Language, or CIL. .NET Core provides some of the standard framework class libraries, which can be called the Core FX and can be described as a partial fork of the framework class libraries. .NET Core's virtual machine can be referred to as Core CLR or Core Common Language Runtime, and it provides services like improved just-in-time compilation, memory management, security, and exception handling. Unlike the .NET Framework, .NET Core can run on Mac OS, Linux, as well as Windows. .NET Core also provides a modular framework so that only the modules that your application uses are shipped with your application. An important difference between .NET Core and the .NET Framework is that you no longer need the entire .NET Framework installed on the target computer, but only those components of the .NET runtime that your application needs. This is why .NET Core is often referred to as a more agile version of the .NET Framework. .NET Core is open source software which makes things like the bug fix release process more efficient. It is optimized for the cloud. It is designed for high performance. It provides a great base for microservice architecture. It is designed to be highly scalable. .NET Core is definitely a significant evolution of the .NET runtime, but it must be noted that it does not replace the .NET framework. Please see in the description below a URL for a Microsoft Docs web page containing recommendations for when to use the .NET framework and when to use .NET Core as the .NET runtime for your server applications.